You could become really powerful in the E3 2018 demo from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I already showed you the full legendary Spartan War Hero set, the Hades Bow, but there was a melee weapon as well that was really, really good. So let's take an in-depth look at this weapon and show you more gameplay of a very powerful character in this video. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. The Sivos of Dionysus, and I hope I pronounced that right, is a legendary sword dropped by the leader of the region. That I had to kill in his villa like a pretty tough level 23 boss that I took out on level 20 and yes just like in origins a level difference can really make the difference in terms of damage you inflict onto the target or what he does to you being closer or a higher level than your enemy is always better with more than two levels apart making it extra hard for yourself well, after a pretty close fight, the guy had a ton of bodyguards with him as well that I had to kill first. But because I already lowered the nation power drastically by killing Athenian soldiers or destroying their resources, these guards dropped up pretty fast, only the boss was still hard to kill. Like he would roll all the time and would not catch fire by my Hades bow fire arrows. But yeah, the arrows still did a ton of damage, aiming for the head for some nice crits was really really helpful, only at the end of the fight I ran out of arrows. But in Odyssey you can craft them on the fly by going to the gear menu. In that moment though, so during combat, I was unable to craft normal arrows as you see right here. And this was while I had a ton of wood from destroying naval ships for example, but I think there are other ways to get wood as well. You also see a lot of empty spots here as well from other arrows you can craft. At this point I think there are only 3 known. So apart from the normal arrows that you will of course be using a lot, we got the paralyzing arrows that can knock out the target as well. And knocking out targets is needed to recruit them for example to be on your ship so while normally you have to be up close to knock out the target with a bow and paralyzing arrows you can do that from afar the other one that was shown is also interesting death arrows that move faster and penetrate deeper so they deal more damage Sounds really really cool and we see that with these special arrows they require more different materials to craft so you will not be using them all the time while the normal arrows are just one wood. By the way the gameplay from these arrows comes from Game Society Pimps, I put a link to their video in the description down below. So you have to be out of combat to be able to craft the arrows so better be prepared. I was lucky enough though that I found an archer that I could quickly kill and loot him so I got a new arrow that I could kill the leader with with an arrow to the chest. This is by the way an Antinian leader that is ruling the area since it was under control by Athens. So if Sparta is controlling the area you will find a Spartan leader there. It does not matter what faction because in the end you want to go and hunt them for some sweet loot like this legendary sword. Not sure if the leader that keeps returning to the area when it switches control from Athens to Sparta. Not sure if they will always drop a legendary item. That would be sick because this sword is really really good. It has a 10% increase in damage you do with your warrior ability abilities you get 9% adrenaline back per hit so you can do your active abilities more often and that is like what this weapon excels at like making sure you can do your abilities as fast as possible with the third perk giving you 0.5 adrenaline segments after doing a warrior ability so you do a warrior ability and immediately build up your adrenaline again so you can do another ability of course your abilities do have cooldown and that's where the legendary perk comes in it namely decreases the ability cooldown duration by 25% for all the abilities so also for the stealth and hunter ability lines and an awesome thing is that you can take this legendary perk and apply it to another weapon as well thanks to the engraving system I made a whole video about this new system so totally check it out for a more in-depth look if you haven't already but it basically means that you can apply a new perk to every weapon and this perk can be a perk you find on another weapon so even if you don't like the rest of the perks from this sort it's still nice to get it because you can then use the perk on another weapon that you do like. So yes you could say that this legendary sword is really really strong and I found that out as well especially in combination with the Hades bow that decreases the ability segments that are needed for an overpower attack. 
and an overpower attack is really really strong with the regular swords. But yeah, just like I said in that Hades bow video as well, the developers are still tweaking it. It was like a little bit overpowered in the E3 demo, so totally don't expect to see this in the full game. So it could be that we find this Civil's legendary sword in the full game at launch with different stats, because now it felt like a big powerhouse. I of course first needed to be level 23 to be able to use the sword, and by that time I had the full Spartan War Hero set as well, that also increased the damage of my warrior abilities by 25% because I wore the full set. Of course, check out my video on this full armor set with a more in-depth look if you haven't already. But yes, this in combination with the bow and sword meant that I was unstoppable. The overpower attack of the regular sword only cost one ability bar with an insane damage increase thanks to the sword and the full armor set giving this mercenary a run for his money. And because I did this warrior ability I got a new half segment back thanks to the sword so one hit meant I could do the overpower attack again and then again and again but that kind of felt like cheating so I used another ability though the vanish to stun the enemy so I could easily attack him and then I got enough to do the overpower attack to finish him off like two overpower attacks would have been enough but this was a more fun fight. I love this footage as well I know I used it in other videos too but not like in its entirety I think um, so here I thought okay I'm super powerful so I can totally take out these five guys no problem so I just started hitting this guy that easily died and then I did the vanish ability again and now I got a full ability bar so I could go crazy on the rest two overpower attacks almost finishing the other guy off as well and here I thought well since I got a full bar why not do my flaming attacks ability combo with my overpower attack since the overpower attack hits do count as melee damage so I could also burn the enemy in the process with some love from the Hades bow to finish these guys off. I mean even if the weapons will get nerfed it's cool to see how it can feel to be totally badass in this game with only legendary gear and this was only at level 23 and without the engraving and without fully upgraded abilities. So in the end we will have way more possibilities to further enhance our character. I'm really curious to see how a max level character will feel but one thing is for sure with Odyssey being way deeper than Origins there will be way more possibilities to make the badass character you want. Subscribe for way more Assassin's Creed Odyssey content. I was by the way on a trip to the development studio Ubisoft Quebec where I learned way more about the game that I will share really soon on the channel so totally subscribe to miss nothing. In the meantime you can already check my social media. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram both your raptor. I got some awesome behind the scenes looks there so totally follow me also if you haven't already. Drop a like to support the channel. Check out my Odyssey video about things we know you can do at the max level and what the post-launch support from Odyssey will look like, and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.